This is a faculty tutorial on e-learning for Cairn University. In this tutorial, I'm going to cover the most commonly used features in e-learning. So to get started, we need to go to elearning.cairn.edu. This is a direct link to the site. e-learning is the learning management system for Cairn University. e-learning contains all the course resources for the duration of the class, and the final grades are posted in self-service. So to get started here, we need to log in on the top right here with your staff account. Once you log in, on the bottom left hand side of the screen, you'll see the courses that have been assigned to you to teach. If the course does not show up in here, then uh, most likely the registrar's office has not assigned you as a teacher to the course. So in this case, we are going to go to the e-learning training course. And this is what we will usually get for a new semester, a blank course or a blank page for every course that you are teaching. So at this point we are going to learn how to update the course heading and also to change a couple of the settings for the completely for the course to start with. Notice by default there are 17 topics in the course. So in order to add more topics or less topics to change that we need to click on turn editing on on the right hand side and the turn editing on allows us to make changes to the course such as adding new content, removing stuff and so on. Now since we want to add or remove uh, sections here or topics we need to click on edit settings, uh, settings for the course itself and then in here we could add a course description. This will show up on the front page for the students. So the course description or a course summary you could copy and paste it from the syllabus or you could just add something very quick. Under the number of weeks or topics this is this is what controls the number of topics that show up in that front page. So if you want 48 or 52 of them you can choose as many as 52. So in our case let's say we want only 10. You usually choose 17 by default because uh, it lasts for 16 weeks and then one extra. So let's say 10 and then you could change the course start date. It's not really that important but you could change it if you'd like to and then choose save changes. At this point notice that it will have only 10 topics.